once again we get another teaser trailer for the upcoming race swap little mermaid that disney wants to shut down your throat and you know pretend that there's no agenda when we can all clearly see what this agenda is what that's what they're doing they're, they're attempting to push this down and uh, this new trailer is already getting ratioed to hell people are not liking it and you look at this article here from um giant freaking robot the little mermaid trailer reveals a ton of awful cgi i mean look at this puffer fish look at this even it's eye and it doesn't even look like she's actually underwater that's something that people has had that from that one one of the many concerns that people have had from the very beginning now i have made no no attempts to do the height the fact that i do not like the fact that they have race swapped ariel for this little movement i know exactly what their agenda is and i've made no attempt to hide the fact that i don't like it that doesn't make me racist it just makes me honest i have made no attempt to hide that but even if you just put that that fact even though it's a major fact aside the cgi for it doesn't look very good at all and people have I'm not know certain aspects of it don't look bad, okay, but the vast majority of what they're doing is not good. It's not good at all. The CGI is terrible and it's being noted, they're putting it out there. Now, this part here with the one hour thing, this didn't look too awful, but it just kind of didn't look right as well. This here with the little thing, one hour thing, it doesn't look actual actually real it really and truly does not look real in any way shape or form it just looks badly put together as always now fans have come out as, as i said the first trailer got a ratio straight the hell i think it's something like about three million dislikes by now something like that this second 30 minute teaser trailer is also getting ratioed the hell it's well over 100,000 dislikes to do that, like 25,000 likes, something like that. So it's getting reissued in, into the freaking girl. But people are not happy and they're letting it be known. So of course, of course, Disney has to get their stars to, to, to come out and push, the, and, push the, and push the card that they push for anything anybody doesn't like. And what's that? The race card. Disney's live action The Little Mermaid star Halle Bailey dismisses backlash against the film as purely racist. As a black person, you just expect it. No, my dear. As a black person, you don't just expect it. What you expect is for people to actually have some decency and make something good. Not to just race swap characters and then try to act like, you know, everyone is too stupid to see what you're doing. In doing her part to set up the tired media defense that any criticism of the latest product is based solely on bigotry. Yeah. Disney's live action Little Mermaid remake star Halle Bailey recently claimed that she found the backlash against the film's announcement to be expectedly racist. Yes, because God forbid anybody don't like me garbage because it's garbage. No, no, we all have to be a bunch of racist bigots out here who, 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 who so hated on everything. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah, it's not the fact that you all are just being absolutely ridiculous. No, 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 no. We're the problem because we're all a bunch of racists. Bailey offered her latest thoughts on the discourse surrounding Disney's latest cash grab during an interview given to the fashion and style centric magazine the face yeah well that's thing down here into that um reflecting on the public's noted and widespread rejection of the little moments first teaser trailer a response largely fueled by the terrible quality of the film's visuals and the disney and disney's decision to once again play into identity politics by race swapping one of their classic characters rather than the presence of a black person specifically, Bailey asserted, 
I know people are like, it's not about race, but now that I'm her, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so going to say, when we get through this, eh? following her brief training offer, she searched for the right words to convey her point. The actress then added, people don't understand that when you're black, there's this whole other community. It's so important for us to see ourselves. They are given scripture because every, every one of them says this. It's so important to see ourselves, to see ourselves. We're this whole other community. No mind there. We're not. We're all members of the human race. You know what? Let me, let me continue. Let me continue this phrase. As a black person, you just expect it. And it's not really a shock anymore, she said. Of the backlash, when my sister Chloe and I first signed to her record label, Pop would Beyonce was like, I never read my comments. Don't ever read the comments. Honestly, when the teaser came out, I was at the D23 Expo and I was so happy. I didn't see any of the negativity. Bailey then turned to the previous reports that justified Disney's race swapping based on reports that young black girls were supposedly excited to see someone who looked like them on screen. Recalling how her family and friends subsequently took to sending her an almost overwhelming amount of videos showing such reactions. I was crying all night for two days, just staring at them in disbelief, she told her face. It makes me feel more grateful for where I am. I, yeah, I, I have never seen any of these so-called videos, but anyway. Ultimately, Bailey closed out her thoughts on the topic of stepping into the shoes of such a, should not be Finn, of such a well-established cultural icon as Ariel, as well as those of the protagonist Nettie in the upcoming musical film adaptation of The Color Purple by explaining, when you're doing a remake of anything, everyone's going to be like, well, this is not how I like it in the original. I hope people seem like my version of the character in The Color Purple and Little Woman, she declared, but at the same time, I'll, ex I'll respect it if they don't. Audiences will find out if Bailey is truly willing to stick to her supposed guns when the Little Mermaid swims into theaters on May 26, 2023. Okay, now let me be upfront here. Let me let me be absolutely upfront here. I have absolutely no intention of going to see this movie in cinema. No, I'm not. I'm not going to spend my money to go and see this. It it it, it in no way interests me because I I can see very clearly what they're trying to do. It's not bothering me that I have no interest in seeing it whatsoever. That being the case, when you come out and, and make statements like this, right? People don't understand that when you're black, there's this whole other community. It's so important for us to see ourselves. You're telling me you're give, you've been giving us, you've been given a script to read. You see, what these people don't seem to understand is that they act like the one thing that you literally have no control over is supposed to be what defines you as a person. Your skin color is, has nothing to do at all with you as a person. That's just how you were born. That's how you came out. That's, that's just it. That, that's just your skin color. That's it. There are so many other things about you as a person that should be more important than just your skin color. Yes, your skin color says that you know your ancestry and all these things, and that is important. But should not define you as an individual. I can only say that you know, oh, it's so important for uh, for these people to see themselves. All these little black girls are going to see us. No, 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 no. It's insulting. It's ridiculous and it's stupid because you know why? What it's saying is that rather than you go out and you create original characters or take original stories about black people, black fairy tales about walking and different things. And even if, even if you decide to go down the route of Little Mermaid, when, when Disney had the Little Mermaid um, animated TV series, Ariel actually met a black mermaid. So you could have done a video on, you could have done a, a movie, sorry, on that. What no? 
It's the name that sells and they need it to push the agenda. You're basically saying, listen, we have such little respect for people of color, for black people, because they love to use that term. They love to use that term and see it and all kind of thing. But you have such little respect for them that you're not willing to create anything original. No, 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 no at all. All you need to do is just tick some boxes here, race swap some established characters and figure that, you know, if people don't like it, they have a problem with it. The Little Mermaid is, is, is a Danish fairy tale, I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken. The characters are white. For years upon years. And Halle Bailey, because whatever she want, she and her sister, whoever want they knew about Ariel, knew about it. And I, I, I'm quite certain none of them ever went into any toy store or sit down and watch the movie and, and ever said at any point in time, why can't Ariel look like me? No, you never said that. It never crossed your mind. But know that you're getting this role, this race swapped role, and Disney is well in the brainwashing you and telling you, listen, repeat this, say this, push this, advocate that. You're coming over here to say something that's up about, you know, important for them, for them to see ourselves. And anytime people don't like it, we're all a bunch of racists. We're all a bunch of racists because why? We want some respect. That make that's it. You look at characters like what Disney did with um, Star Wars and um, what we want from Star Wars thing with um, Reaver. They came over and said that, you know, oh, that's so many racial comments about Reaver. There were no racial comments about Reaver. I saw none. What people were talking about was, was how terrible the character was. And the character was terrible. They admitted that themselves. But here you are, coming to tell people, listen, we're going to do this Little Mermaid thing. We're, we were clearly race swapping this character. You came out and said that, no, 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 there's no agenda. Then you turned around and said, oh, wait, well, you know what? There is an agenda. And now you're coming back to tell people, listen, if you don't like the agenda, you're racist. You all are doing this nonsense to try and push crap that should, that should never be there. Someone's skin color should not be what defines them as a person. There are many people who grew up watching Little Mermaid, um, Snow White, whatever. All these little girls who play with each other all over the time. Never had a thought about, you know, oh well, why couldn't this character be black? Why, why, why couldn't this character be black or, la or Latino or whatever? No. No. You did Mulan, which was a animated movie based on an Asian princess woman. Okay, wait. Animated princess. I'm calling Mulan a princess, right? Princess. People liked Mulan. I saw the movie. I liked the animated movie. Then you did the live action and completely destroyed it. And now you're coming here and saying, listen, we're doing, we're doing this live action of the little movie. Nah. Yeah, we're literally blatantly race swapping this character and if you don't like it you're a racist we're doing something stupid but let's blame you when this fails early on the door because this is all they do and you know it's not going to stop there they come out with the race card first then they come out saying that you know it's fit for some kind of modern audience for some kind of modern audience and if you don't love it you're a bigot. Or oh, 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 you're looking at sexist. It's, it, 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 it's, it's bold faced garbage at this point. That's all it is. Bold faced garbage. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. You have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, you should have hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. If I every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.